Yeah, tasting a beer. You guys saw everything in my brew day video. If you haven't, I'll link that in the description below. But it's a hazy IPA recipe, about 20% flaked oats. London 1318 yeast. Uh, I just seed the hops for 40 minutes, no boil hops. And I added, I can't remember the amount of, lacto of uh, lactose. I'll throw it right now, right here. Let it go. Added the lactose for at tasting, which I've heard is a good way to do it, so you don't add too much. Add a little bit of vanilla bean, about one fifth. Let it go for about five days. I was tempted to keg it, but I didn't. I actually find sometimes my bottle beers are a little bit less oxidized. It just traps in uh, CO2 better. It's hazy. It looks oxidized a little bit to me. It's a little more brown than I want it to be, but it's not terrible. But we'll find out in a second. I tried to avoid splashing. All right, here we go. The nose is okay. It's not bad. It has a little bit of a, maybe a little oxidized thing going on, but more sweet, I would say. Just a little bit off or a little old or something. I don't know. Maybe it is a little oxidized. I'm not getting like any cardboard or anything. Taste. Hmm. Oh, that taste is not bad. The taste is definitely better than the smell. The taste, uh, but yeah, it's a little old and malty-ish, I guess you could say, but slightly. But the taste is like, oh, that's good. Really um, bitter, juicy. Uh, the lactose, I didn't probably put enough in, to be honest with you. If you make a lactose IPA, or milkshake IPA, I should say, is uh, probably keys a little more if you're going classic to style, or whatever the style is, and a little more vanilla. But I think the pretty bitter considering it's only a steep. It tastes like it's in an 80 IBU range. <laughs> uh, but I love that. I love hoppy beer. I love bitter beer. If I were to do this again, I'd probably dial back the amount of hops I put into it and up the lactose and up the vanilla a little bit. Uh, but I don't know if I'll make this again. It was just one of those attempts. All the other variants I could do if I do add lactose to this um, for up the lactose amount, maybe add a little fruit. You know, I think melon or something could be really nice with it. But it's definitely probably more better than it should be. I think it should be more on the flavorful side. I think it's still a pretty good recipe and a pretty good shot at it. And um, so that's it, yeah. Hold up, that's not the end of the video. No, I lied. Watched it back just now and I was like, that looks so brown and nasty. Like maybe it's that bottle, something's off with it. So I open another bottle. Look at the color difference. way better when i get oxidized beer it turns brown it has this weird moldy sweet thing going on this is perfect it's a great color it smells amazing there's nothing wrong with this it is flawless in my opinion it is a great ipa i would not call it a milkshake ipa i think we need to be a little sweeter i add more lactose for sure but the rest of it is great it's a great regular IPA, uh, the recipe itself. And the nose is big and bright and citrusy and fruity and like big stone fruit. And this lovely, beautiful, little bitter finish to it. It's a wonderfully refreshing beer. This is how the beer is supposed to turn out. Uh, so <laughs> whatever bottle I opened got oxidized or maybe contaminated, but I'm glad I have hopefully more bottles that are good. It might be a crapshoot. Maybe it's one out of two. I don't know. See you guys next time. Stay tuned for more videos. And get out there and uh, keep getting really, really weird. You never know. You can get a beer that's good 50% uh, of the time, depending on what bottle you open.